per minute. But no need to put the liter per minute. Just pure water, no baking soda, nothing. Just chill water. So let's start it. It doesn't do anything. So you need some baking soda after all. That thing is pulling zero amp. <laughs> Did I break it? Okay, so uh, no baking soda it doesn't work. It was doing nothing. Then I test the voltage. I've got two position on that charger. You see, it says 12 volt, but I measure it. It's 8.8 .8 actually, so it's not 12. And for now, it's pulling 20 amp. So I'm going to switch, as you can see. Today I'm going to switch it to 12 volt. Well, actually, it was the 11.1. So let's put it to the other one. You can hear the charger humming more. Okay, so now it's acting more like in a car, but a car is 13 volts, so so you have to increase. Maybe you know, this thing was doing 600 milliliter a minute. So now you can say it's about a liter a minute. That's what's happening. I put just a little bit of the other. The Browns gas that I had in the jar here, so I started to put in there, and then I filled it up with this one. So now it's doing pretty good. Let's say use all the, the plate. Three negative, four positive. It's not focusing. I wanted to show you the little little ones some people ask me how did I connect these things. So I did a little gap in it. I don't know if you can see it well. Just enough so that the plug-in can connect and stay there. And the plastic that I put in back here is the same as this one. It's a vegetable cutter for the, the pantry so you don't scratch your, your wood. That's what I took for this back one. I thought the, the glue was cutting, gluing, uh, staying more better and in there. And it's holding pretty nice, but I found some goop at the hardware store and the goop is working that's what I put on this one marine goop now this one is pulling 24 so the result of this you put one liter of water and maybe a quarter of a teaspoon so you don't put that much don't go half of it, so it's producing because when it's warming up, it's gonna high, the amperage is gonna go high. So you can see this one is producing real nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna try a tall one. Okay, so now I fit make that thing so it can make it works. I rig the whole thing, and this one has five plates compared to the other two. You have seven plates, these one have five, three by twelve. So let's try that thing. Okay, eight volt for starting. The pipe needs to be straightened and come back. Okay, so I resize the pipe a bit shorter. 
because it needs to be the cell needs to be lower than the, the bubbler. So let's plug that thing in. 12 volt, well 11.1, 10 amps. So fresh water is coming out there. So to have the, the best result, you need to try it in a car because Charger, battery charger like this, there's no match for a battery car with the alternator and everything. See, now it's 20 amp, it was 10 amp cold. Now I think it's warming up a little bit. So I think the real test needs to be done in a, in a car, plugged in on the battery. So I put the jar in so you can see the bubble made by the generator. So for now I think it's producing around well, a liter a minute at full blast and now that thing is at 25 amp with probably a, a quarter of a teaspoon for one liter of water. producing real nice big bubble 